Welcome to another edition of Paul's Toolbox. Today I'm going to cover stainable primer. I have another video showing this and I used it to stain a door that was painted. And this is the look I got with it after. If you want to check this out, you can hit my link and go back to that, that uh, particular video. Now this is a smooth piece. This was MDF. Of course, it's paint grade MDF. It's pre-primed. I put stainable primer on here and I'm going to go ahead and show you how I put some grain uh, looks in it to make it look like wood. It's very simple, especially when you're using this kind of primer, the stainable primer. So let's get started on it. You can see it, it absorbs it very well. I'm going to take this piece and set it on the side, let it dry. When working with stainable primer, your options are endless. Now I'm going to take and put an ebony stain on this piece, and then I'm going to come back over it with a weathered gray or the uh, sun bleach color. So let's open our cans up. I'll rub this in real quick. Make sure it's mixed up well. That ebony stain's really dark. Well, it's black, it's ebony. It looks great when you have a nice high gloss to it. You add a high gloss clear to it. But what I'm gonna do is put this on as my undercoat. Now we have our sun bleached gray. Rub this in. You see, if you do it when it's still wet, you can streak it or before it's completely dry. My base coat, they can make really nice streaks in here. What if I stopped in the middle of it and went to lunch? Well, I can pick up here and I'm gonna match it the same way. I just put my black base coat or my ebony base coat on here. I'll just blend it in to the gray for now so I don't have any obvious spots. Just rub it until it goes over it into that color. And we'll do it all at once. This is what I have to work with. So, I'll take my gray. Now normally I would use a good rag instead of a paper towel, but all I have is this little section. Or, in some cases, I'll use a sponge to put this on and then come back over and wipe it off with a good rag. Oh shoot, that's my black again or my ebony. I need to go to my next color. So let's get on it. I'll take this one since I've already dipped it first. And rub it in. I need to get it on pretty heavy to cover that black. So I didn't wait as long as I did on the first one. So I'll just get it on heavy. Make sure I have enough gray in there. All right. Now it's just a matter of rubbing it back and forth to get that look. This is stained and it looks really nice, especially for MDF. I could take and put a clear coat on this if I wanted to and end it right there. But I'm gonna go ahead and put some Van Dyke Brown 
uh, glaze on it. This is by General Finishes, and this is a really nice latex base glaze. So I'll just take this, and rub it on there, and I'm gonna get it kind of heavy in the in the cracks because I want that part to stand out. So let me get it in here. Like I said, the stainable primer is a latex base. It has a latex base in it. And I, I put an oil-based stain on it, but you could use a latex or an oil-based stain. It doesn't matter, it accepts both. And with glazes, it really doesn't matter either. You can take a glaze, that's a latex-based glaze, and put it over the stain. That's fine. I'm gonna let this puddle right there. So I have some nice dark lines. Put my finger across it. And we'll let that dry. For more information on the Stainable Primer or on other projects, check out PaulsToolbox.com. I'm going to have upcoming videos on the Stainable Primer and also videos on how to repair your home. I have a lot of other videos on there so you can check out my archives. I'll see you later and don't forget to subscribe.